Yo, yo, what's up, community? Your man, Evil Foot, live and direct, Metro Manila. Don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel. Bringing you another Evil sneaker review. This one is based on the AJ3 Tinker. Well, I'm actually gonna review two of the different Tinkers. We're gonna go over the Fire Red, as well as the uh, Gold Black Cement. Here you see the Jordan brand Manila and BGC. Sneaker of the day is the AJ5 Fire Red with the Nike Air on the hill. As always, EvilTShirtClub.com for the rarest villain t-shirts. So let's get to it. So on the right side, here we have the Black Cement Gold Tinker 3. I got these from Titan 22. I believe this was 2019. Yeah, it was 2019 when I got these. Uh, so I did pay retail for it. And you see we have the cement box. Tinker's autograph on the top lid. Pretty dope. So the closest size in stock was a 10, so I went up a half size. Here on the left side, we have the Fire Red Tinker 3. And I got this in 2018. Also, same box. Uh, you notice the label's a little bit different. So just for perspective, the first Tinker was the one that Justin Timberlake wore at the Super Bowl. <clears throat> Go Birds. So that was 2018 and the whole idea was basically going off of the sketches that Tinker Hatfield had before the original AJ3 released uh, and there's a huge story there I won't dive into that here in this video uh, but please do leave a comment and if it's something that you do want me to cover I can of course circle back then we had the Oregon Ducks um, Tinker 3 and this is the only one that does not have Nike Air on the back on the hill you see we have the O for Oregon and of course that's the priciest of them all uh, then we have the University Red with the Velcro swoosh uh, there were three different ones I believe red then a cement then a white then we have the black cement gold and this one looks nothing like the mock-ups did I, I appreciated the mock-ups but I do have a treat for you if you stick around until the end of this video so here we go nothing special under the lid uh, the paper, we have cement paper, traditional cement box. Let's take this guy out. And the first thing that you notice is that Nike Air on the heel. I love that. We have like a triple black effect going on here. Uh, I just want to call out real quick that the swoosh, the tongue, and the highlights and the eyelets, uh, that's all 3M material. And Nike stitching on the medial side of the sneaker. Then we have suede on the upper and if you look at this elephant print this is pretty cool as well it's like a darker version of it i, I think it's gorgeous uh, then we have this eyelet this top eyelet this is the, where the gold comes in from the uh the colorways again the tongue is 3m material and if you look at the elephant print right here that is gorgeous and this is how you identify the fakes. It's not gonna look anything like this whatsoever. So now we're making way over here to the lateral side of the sneaker and we have that 3M swoosh. And this is a gorgeous sneaker. Definitely not something you're gonna wear in the rain, but it is beautiful. And then that triple black Nike Air on the hill. Beautiful. This is a very well designed sneaker. If anyone out there has a 9.5, holler at your man here. And here we have Tinker Hatfield's autograph under the tongue. Very well designed sneaker. And again, this is going off of the uh, sketch designs that Tinker originally had before what we know as the AJ3 Black Cement released. And we know Jordan won a dunk contest with that. Uh, we also know that that is the sneaker that kept him with Nike. So overall, uh, a pivotal sneaker in the sneaker culture in general. Here we have the shoe tree, nothing fancy there. Um, I will pull out the insole and you will see that there's something etched right there underneath the sneaker that's not gonna be on the insole of the right side. So just wanted to call that out when you guys do your legit checks. And here's a look at the stitching on the inside of the sneaker for your legit checks. And these are authentic sneakers. I got these from Titan 22. Very well designed sneaker. Um, I'll let you guys peek in here. I'm not gonna pull this insole out just because I'm feeling a bit lazy right now, but just be sure to make note that the right and the left 
Legion Soul is different. So here we are with the Fire Red. These are true to size, 9.5. Tumbled leather, beautiful. See a little bit of creasing there. Elephant print is exactly the same as on the black cement gold. You see the stars. Well designed sneaker. I wear this possibly more than any other sneaker in my collection. Very comfortable. And they pretty much go with everything. You know, in my opinion, these are superior to the original release that Justin Timberlake Super Bowl win. Uh, and that fire red on the hill is beautiful. Oh my God. They did everything perfectly here. Everything is the, the right blocking, the correct materials. Very clean sneaker. And the inside is identical, uh, you know, autographed right there on the back side of the tongue. Then that little sketching or whatever that says underneath the sneaker on the insole. Very dope sneaker. Again, like I said, I wear these more than anything else. Uh, but I'll let you decide which one do you like best. Oh, I forgot to show you guys. So now you see what kind of action these guys get. <laughs> uh, I wear these extensively again. So which one do you like best? Left or the right? Black cement, gold, fire red, you tell me. On the hill, what do you like best? The triple black or the fire red and white, you tell me. Again, don't forget to like, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. I'll continue to put more content out there for you guys because I do this anyway. So yeah, thanks a lot for your time. I really appreciate everyone for watching. Oh yeah, one last thing. This will fit into your plastic storage cases and the lid will close. Perfect fit. Uh, I do have bonus footage for those guys that stuck around until the end of the video. Reps. <laughs> so this one was designed off of the mock-up drawings. And it, you know, the, the elephant print is hideous. You see a lot of things are gonna be missing here. But overall, it is a black cement three with a white Nike swoosh. And I think that's pretty dope, you know? Um, I really do wish that Nike would go back out and Ortica would go back and release the, off of, based off of the black cement mock-ups. And you see here's the uh, fire red. A lot of clues that these are Market A shoes, especially on the inside. Uh, but again, thanks everyone that stuck around for the entire video. Take care.